This episode is presented by Destination New South Wales. Start planning your next New South Wales holiday now. I'm Sean Canstell, I'm 16 years of age and I live in my way. Sean Canstell, age 19, from uh, Mullaway, New South Wales, Australia. My name's Sean Canstell, I'm from Mullaway and 37 now. Yeah. Ken's amazing, mate. He he was so naturally talented. He was very talented. I think he probably should have done more than he did. He made the tour and got some results, but I thought he should have been there for a long time. He was everyone's favourite surfer for a while. Cairns and I have super close, obviously, both on Billabong growing up, around 13, 14, down at Lennox. I remember uh, yeah, seeing him there and I was like, wow, this kid's so talented. He had no one pushing him, no one even on his talent, probably at his local beach, and just proves that, you know, it's just in some people. And for me, you know, his surfing was amazing. One of the best guys to ever put surfboard under his feet. He's exciting too, because I haven't seen much of him for a little while, and see what he's been up to, and just the way he rides the waves, how his read on the waves, is gonna be sick. Sean Cansdell, one of the greatest surfers of his generation, a high-octane, meat-hacking, power-punting, tube pig of the highest order. Amused the likes of three-time world champion Andy Irons, a surfer with so much power and promise, they called him Mini Oki. In the back of my mind, I always wanted to, like, gauge my surfing off his because I knew he was kind of the benchmark. Mike had that inner drive to be... Wanted, wanted to be better than him, um, naturally, so, but, so he really pushed my surfing and, and uh, yeah, just so many good times and good trips over the years with Cairns. So stoked with the opportunities I've had with surfing. It's um, pretty incredible to be able to travel the world and, and just surfing's like incredible destinations as well. And I guess it might not have been long or it was pretty short lived, but I got to do the QS for so long. So I had that support for so long, which was pretty cool. A simple country lad from a sleepy village on the sparsely populated mid north coast of New South Wales, he underachieved by every metric in his two years on the world tour. But his free surfing performances in some of the biggest surf films of all time still stand up today. Will rivals be Cansdale's time to shine? It's not locked up into 30 minute time and two best waves and you know, mixture of priority and hassling and all the stuff. You take all the elements out of it and just give him two hours to free surf and put a clip together, it, it, he's definitely um, probably the guy that could stand out. Like all those guys, have, they're still surfing so well these days. Um, they've all just been in the water for years, you know what I mean? Like they, they haven't really stopped surfing. They've kept getting better and better. From what I've seen of the guys, to, you know, they're all gonna be pretty tough to beat. That's right, the boys are fair dinkum, who ripping. Cairns will wanna pull his finger out with the stable weaver symbol, bottle it pumping burly, the hog dog hacking it to bits at North Narra, micro going vert at Evoca, Kersey putting on a clinic at D-Bar. This is gonna be one for the ages. What I know is just trying to pick the best window for a surf and if you can get some good clips and um, make it exciting to watch and what it will take to win, I guess. Probably haven't been onto it enough, <laughs> to tell you the truth. I was, probably wasn't onto the... There was a, definitely a few swirls I let go that I probably should have called it. A dynamo in any kind of left, he's no slouch backside either. In fact, he's incredible. Explosive turns, clean, crispy rail work and clinical punts are the hallmarks of Kansas surfing. His best result on tour, a runner-up at Cloudbreak Fiji, one of the best lefts in the world. His performances in a contest jersey, often mirroring a free surfing exhibition. If I had the choice, I probably would have went free surfing, I think. <laughs> 
But at the same time, I love competing. Like, I wasn't ever one of those people that was just one or the other. Like, um, I enjoy it both, but I guess losing sucks. <laughs> Whereas free surfing, you kind of like, you get to enjoy surfing good ways. You kind of got a little bit more time, maybe. Um, you having those small little windows that you got to perform in. Uh, yeah, it's definitely still a lot of pressure, I guess, like to come up with good surfing and you, you got to really kind of go for it, I guess, to get a good clip. The mid north coast of New South Wales is renowned for sand bottom beach breaks, with a couple of world class left hand wedges nestled among the coves. Aerials will surely be the order of the day. <laughs> definitely got to go for it because um, I'm, I'm sure that these, the other guys have already got pretty quality clips and if I can get a couple of solid sort of power turns or something, I'll try and fit those in, but try and get a mix if I can. After the break, we go on the hunt with cans. We're living in the present, but dreaming of the future. You've dreamed of places you'll go, new adventures, space. So you can't travel the world right now. So what? New South Wales is here for you. The time's coming when we'll all reboot 2020. One unforgettable experience at a time. Until then, love New South Wales from home. Welcome back to Rivals. Looks like there's some motion in the ocean. Let's see what his coast has coughed up. Sometimes it gets limited on south swells and south wind, but there's, there's a lot of options around, yeah. Left it too late. <laughs> I wasn't on to it enough. One weekend it was going off. I had the kids on the weekend and um, I just checked the surf and it was firing. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> should have called it for that weekend. But, yeah. At the moment, it's probably not going to be barreling for me, so I'm going to have to send it with some couple of airs or something. <laughs> just try, try and stick something. Cairns has made the call on a tricky swell. As we wait for the conditions to line up, let's see what he does for a crust. I've always sort of been into sort of boards and at a young age I could do art and stuff and then I was always interested in the design of boards and I didn't really know a lot about what made them work for a long time, I feel like. Over the years I sort of learned a bit more about board design. I think I did my first board when I was about 16 in the backyard and just <laughs> going blind. The sun was just blaring off the board. <laughs> I think, don't, don't, don't even think I had any templates or anything. I just had to like eyeball it out and just a hand planer and just went to town on it <laughs> in the backyard. He was one of the greatest surfers of his generation. So it's little wonder cans can shape a world-class surfboard too. Well, this is a really new one. Yet to try it out. I've, it's an old model that I brought back, sort of pulled the flyer back and um, yeah, set the fins a bit, bit further back so it's more of a twin and pulled the tail in a little bit more. Yeah, just made it into a bit more of a twin. It was a bit more of a thruster before, but it had the, had, still had the wings. Shorties, fishers, twin fins, that's sort of mainly what I've been working on over the last few years. I'm definitely interested to do as many different designs as I can as a shaper. I think that's always gonna be beneficial to my knowledge as a shaper, I think. I just enjoy uh, mixing it up and trying different stuff. A master of his craft, Cairns is now a master craftsman, churning out world-class shapes, as well as coaching the current crop of Coff's talent. Definitely don't take like working in the surf industry for granted these days after doing construction work and these days I'm, I'm surfing with the guys I'm coaching. I just love, love surfing so much, so anything to do with it, I'm happy. Cairns has boards for all shapes, sizes and abilities. This one's a, sort of a yeah, bigger guy performance board or, a, or even an intermediate surfer. Um, just got that little bit of area up, up the front here in comparison to my, my short board, just for that extra paddle power. But it's pretty performancey all over and 
Yeah, in my heat, I'll be using something pretty similar to this. In his prime, Cairns was the toast of the international surfing community. A contemporary of Aussie tour legends Joel Parkinson, Mick Fanning and B Derbage, he famously surfed Hawaii's pipeline at night. I don't know, we all we dared him, I think. We all went out, we had a dare and he just paddled out and he was pretty crazy, mate. He charged. Cairns was full on, like he'd have a big dig in the way. Yeah, they can. I don't know. Think about it. Yeah, it's probably worth it. We're nearly soon enough. Let's go out for two hundred bucks. Look, there's another twenty. There's no way he'll do it. Let's see if he comes out the door. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See that guy up there? Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's making through. Yeah, yeah. Gas tail, hand tail. Guy's out of hand. Try to paddle in. It's gonna be a big double upset. Is he in? Well, it's gonna take a little one. <laughs> he's got this on the head, he's sure, look. Look, look. Yeah. He's going. Yeah! yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> he's doing that well. He's in the pit. Oh. <laughs> Awesome effort. For free, it was an awesome effort. Thanks. A maze of headlands, coves, and back trails, it pays to have some local knowledge on the Coffs Coast. This is uh, my sort of local I grew up at, Malloway. And um, this could be all right later in, on the low tide. It's starting to get a bit too high for it. If you're visiting the area, I think anywhere from sort of Red Rock to Sortel, it's got plenty of headlands to choose from. It's pretty gold because you can find pretty uncrowded and nice wave. There's so many beautiful beaches within Coffs area and sort of a little piece of paradise, I guess. It's, you've got sort of mountains right on the coast and caravan parks and stuff for families that come and visit. And if you want to sort of have, have uncrowded beaches, you, you've got that. Yeah, if there's one place you're going to visit in Coffs, it's probably the Big Banana. Can't miss it, it's on the highway. <laughs> Any kind of east swell lights up a, a lot of spots, I think. Um, the south swell is it sort of tends to be just a few spots that are work and they can be a bit more crowded. So <laughs> right now we've got that, those conditions so it's to our window, so just got to make most of it. With the end of the 45 day window upon him, it's now or never for Cairns. Time to pull the trigger. It's not easy, like you still got to go for it when you're, when you're videoing or whatever, so a lot of the time you can fall off, you know what I mean? So it's sort of going all out, going 100. If you go 70%, you might not get the best clips, but you might stick it, you know what I mean? So it's, that's a bit, it's a bit similar to compete, competing in that way anyway, so. Yeah, just got to throw caution in the wind, I guess, and go as big as I can. After the break, Cairns commits. We're living in the present, but dreaming of the future. You've dreamed of places you'll go. New adventures. Space. So, you can't travel the world right now. So what? New South Wales is here for you. The time's coming when we'll all reboot 2020. One unforgettable experience at a time. Until then, love New South Wales from home. The Coffs Coast is about more than its world-class beaches. From majestic rainforest walks and waterfalls to diving with whales in the Solitary Islands Marine Park, kangaroos on the beach, and even a clinic on cheese making. Coffs Harbour is haunt tour. Cairns has opted for his local beach, Mulloway. It's the end of the window and conditions are far from pumping, but with a few ramps and an aerial friendly wind, we can still expect some fireworks. Yeah, that's fun. A couple of ramps, hopefully. Don't know, we'll see. South wind, so you're kind of going into the wind in the, on the left and 
pretty good for having the ball stick to your feet. And I will go with this. <laughs> Getting this big rig out of, out of the water is a bit harder. <laughs> Cairns makes his way out into the hallowed sand of Mulloway. And here he goes. The mini Oc winding up on his first wave of the day. What's he got for us? Big ram section. Oh, clean front side punt. Can't stick it. Straight into another one. Little bobble in that wind swell. What's he got for us here? Big ram section. Full rotation air reverse. This thing would have been nuts. Can't stick it though. Looks like that left has evaporated, so he's going backside, opening up with a nice little re-entry. Ooh, loosening the fins on that one, pretty sick. Into a little left, hucks the fins, can't stick it. Backside again, little glass down the top. Oh, he's working hard, another slashing maneuver. What's he got for us on the end? Big floater sticks it. That was sick. Going right. Cairns jamming off the bottom. Huge blast out of the top. Oh, another sick Rio. Super vertical. The close out reverse. That was a smooth combination. Oh, this one's got a bit of punch in it. Gapping down the line. And a little credit card alley-oop there. Fades into this one. It's a bit mushy, but it's always got to work with. Wow, that was huge. He's a magician in the beach break conditions. Tough going out there. Classic wind swell conditions on the East Coast. Not what Cairns would have been hoping for. He had 45 days to choose his window. He's only got himself to blame. Oh, he's doing his best. The milk is section. What's he got for us here? Jeez, oh, he's working hard. It's not really paying off for him though at the moment, Cairns. Oh, big float going right. Lovely speed through that critical foam ride. Plenty of technique and ability on show, but the waves just aren't really cooperating. As Cairns bides his time out the back, valuable minutes are counting down. Little roll in out the back. Oh, this one's looking nice and rampy. Cairns hits the section. Solid front side out of revert. See it again on the replay. Plenty of pop. Off the bottom. Big signature front side hack. Straight into a fin throw on the end. Can he stick it? He can't. The right seem to be offering a little more scoring potential. We'll see where Cairns goes with that. As he comes off the bottom, absolutely swats that thing. That was sick. He's found a sucky little left here. Winds up, big ramp section. Can he ride out of it? Oh, don't know if you can score that. Punching those less, I just can't get them. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a make that last one, I just couldn't ride out. <laughs> I was like, ah! You got any snacks? <laughs> nah, it's all good, eh? I'll just get back out there. Don't be angry at me if I don't get anything. <laughs> We've sent cans back out. What can he deliver with 10 minutes to go? Has a sniff at this one. Doesn't like what he sees. Oh, that was huge. That was a sick turn. Straight into another. Wow. Conditions aren't ideal, but he's putting on a show nonetheless. Oh, hucks the fins into a sick little fin throw reverse. Smooth like. Winding up on this thing. Big section ahead of him. Oh, little credit card air out in the flats. Hard landing, but don't think that's going into his top three either. That's a wrap. His favoured left didn't live up to his expectations, but he still managed to make the most out of the subpar conditions with a handful of decent rights.
We're living in the present, but dreaming of the future. You've dreamed of places you'll go. New adventures. Space. So, you can't travel the world right now. So what? New South Wales is here for you. The time's coming when we'll all reboot 2020. One unforgettable experience at a time. Until then, love New South Wales from home. Welcome back to Rivals. Sean Cansdell has just surfed his heat and while the conditions definitely didn't come to the party, there was still a lot to like about Kansas heat. Some silky speed floats, signature calves, big backside hits and smooth punts cut the kind of performance we're used to seeing from the Coffs Coast native. Felt good, especially on the right. I didn't feel so good on the left today, but kind of went totally opposite to what I was expecting that surf to be. I was sort of expecting a lot more left ramps. Yeah, it just turned into all rights, and, um, but they were really fun. Uh, just the tide dropped probably too much for the lefts, and the south swell was sort of, I feel like the lefts were just going a bit backwards and a bit fat and then closing out, and the, the rights had a lot of kind of push and wedge to them, so I was happy with the, the few I got. Let's check out Kansas' top three. Wave number one, Kansas opening up on his backhand. Nice slashing manoeuvre to kick it off. Another pretty sick carve out of the top. And then this. Big end section close out float projects out over the explosion. Wave number two. Deep bottom turn. And a big backside here. Chucks the fins. Nice rhythm on this. Another vertical backside re-entry. I love how he handled that little bobble. And then this. Little reverse on the end section. That was sick. He's a magician in the beaches. And then another one on his backside. Oh, that was a sick vertical Rio. And then an even bigger one. Wow. While the conditions were far from all time, that's pretty typical of the East Coast. And Cairns didn't miss with his top three. Yeah, felt, felt a little bit of pressure coming in. Yeah, like, especially with the the lineup of guys in the event, like there's just so many big names and all of them are surfing so well these days. I guess I just wanted to try and hold my own. <laughs> I love putting myself in that sort of pressure situation, I guess, so that's what I liked about competition and seeing if you can sort of pull it off and um, yeah, I, I, I still enjoy it, for sure. Next week we jump on the ferry and head to Stratty with B Derby. What? Oh, we're on. Yes! Yeah.